Hello and Ooh. welcome. Ooh. <laughs> I was going to say cash, you can go ahead and take it, but uh, that's cool. You just Ooh. wanted to say, ooh. <laughs> it's just... Well, no, uh, you, you started talking, so I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I was waiting, so like, as, as, a, as, a, as, like a, as a behind the scenes of how podcasters typically work, especially when you can see each other's faces and whatnot, you can, you can use, you know, social cues and, and, and facial cues, and Cass's face started making, like, that, that scrunched up like it's about to start talking, and he just went with, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw you formulate words and I was like, oh shit, I don't want to stuff on his toes. Uh, welcome to DKG Welp, the Drunk Kids Gaming Podcast. I am your host, King Kaz, joined as I always am by my good friend, co host, compadre, fat man to my skinny man, Abbott to my Costello. Am I still fat? Oh. I'm still fat. Yeah, I'm still fat. I'm brought to you today by I, I, Michael Blue Blaywater. I just wanted to get to the Abbott to Costello thing. I, I needed a who's on I first? A shift, a pivot. Uh, yeah, who's on Ooh, first? Ooh, we can do that. Can pivot. we do? Can we? Can can we dress up as Abbott and Costello? Is that whiteface? Is that a thing? Is that a bad? <laughs> <laughs> is, that, <laughs> is that? I don't know. I've never. I've never actually even questioned this about it. Oh, <laughs> uh, and there we are. Uh, so we opened up a little differently today, oh, which yeah, is why we we're could... slightly discombobulated. We normally open up with a cold open video, but there was a development. As we were discussing what to open the videos with, I had a video. Normally I leave that up to Kaz, but Kaz had already picked one, which was apparently a quote-unquote time-sensitive, and also really fucking good. Unto which I challenged him and said I think my video is funnier, or more fun, or funnest. Uh, so we're gonna go, we're gonna have a little we're gonna have a little opening video uh, face-off live on the actual episode for you guys. So. Let's enjoy. Uh, you guys can uh, use your magic uh, uh, text to in the chat voices to, uh, to to decide which one's better. So we're gonna play Kaz's first. Ooh. I want to mind you, mine isn't a fucking vertical Facebook video. Uh, but you know, only the kids don't care about that trip. <laughs> there was someone on Twitter the other day that was like, "I'm gonna say it. I, I've been holding it back my whole life. I don't. I don't mind vertical video." <laughs> <laughs> You're like, all right, all right. Uh, I mean, in all honesty, when I do get a video, like when I'm browsing it's like Facebook or Instagram on my phone, and the vertical video expands to the actual phone, and I'm like, all right, I dig how this works now, as long as you're watching it on the same device that fucking someone took it on. But you watch it on a computer, and you're like, so I've got 16 by 9 fucking uh, ratios, man. All right, anyways, the, the, uh, the uh, 2018 uh, DKG Will Volume 2, Episode 5, Opening video face off starts now. There's only one video. I know it sounds like it's more dramatic than this, but whatever. Uh, Cass is up. What the fucking bootleg fireworks? What are we doing? Hold the hands, you go. Okay, come on. Oh my hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Two car come. <laughs> you got two car come two different ways. Bag up, bag up, bag up, Terry. Put it in reverse, Terry. Put it in reverse. Oh, Lord. Lord, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? What you doing, Terry? Terry, what the fuck? Come on. Come on. Come on. The fastest getaway ever. All right, all right. <laughs> was that not actually the actual bootleg firework guy? Was that the guy from the old fucking video back in the day? It might be. It might be. I don't know. It might become tradition it's just on the internet. You I know, it's the same man who's just. If you if you were the guy who made a viral video, just, you know you'd be trying to milk that for years to come. <laughs> be like, oh, I'm 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 turtle soup guy. I'm fucking whatever. Like, this man is like Fourth of July is my motherfucking year, bro. Right. I'm out here. <laughs> All right, I gave in. I laughed a little bit to that. That was an okay opening video. Very timely. Fireworks, all that shit. Good times. Okay. Don't prematurely vote for people, Panda Hacker. That's not the way this works. You're gonna get yourself. You're gonna get yourself attacked at the polls. All right. That's why you go first. That's why you go first. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Mine's, I, I specifically found the one. I'm sure you guys have seen this video. I don't know. I don't know why I always have to preface my videos. Carry on. This is my video. Actually, yeah. Just. I didn't say shit. <laughs> 
You gotta, you gotta read. You gotta read the subtitles or listen to it because it's my favorite part. Baby, they got horses. Should we tell her that Vince is a like her? No, hell no. Baby, you're scaring the horses. <laughs> Kaz, you're supposed to laugh. Come on. <laughs> Same. It was a little Fireworks bit of a Fireworks always wins. White woman pissing herself. I can see that on Pornhub, dog. No, you, you have to understand. My favorite, my favorite bit. I don't even give a shit that she pissed herself. My favorite bit is this guy. This guy's friend's like, yo. Yo, yo, and he has the he has the intelligence to whisper it too. Hey, yo, should we tell her that fence is electric? And he's like, should we tell her that fence is electric? No, hell no. No, hell no. No and hell no. Hell, no hell no. Oh, I love it. Uh, you, you watch, you watch, you can get electric. Dude. This is... <laughs> Sorry, uh, white people. They'd be like, they do like that. You think it is? It's good times. Yeah. I like that part too, Gabby. Like, <laughs> she damn near killed herself, and he's like, "Baby, you're scaring the horses. Stop!" <laughs> what the fuck wrong with it ain't fun to be out in the boons, <laughs> you're just getting your wife electric. Yeah. You know what? You know what? I just realized, Look, man. I kind of want to play the other video now. <laughs> well, no, I got. So I am now just realizing I am. I am. I'm like a mirror image of my dad at my age. I remember being. I remember being young. And thinking my dad was an asshole. <laughs> Jesus, pop. <laughs> Reverend Puck is back for eight months. Octobutts. Thank you, bro. Uh, no, so. Yeah, hold on. There's some disqualifications in the chat. You played your video twice. You had clarification concerns, and you needed to see what exactly was so funny about it. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Oh, you mm. had to explain your joke? Uh-huh. Uh, you had to explain uh, why your video was funny? Was mine just straight out fucking funny? <laughs> so no, continue. I'm, laugh I'm laughing at this right now, and I realized that I wanted to say, like, 20 years ago, uh, mm, I remember being really, like, thinking my dad was a dick because one of the things he did on many occasions to his now wife at the time uh, was we'd be working on something electrical, like, in a, in a, in a little like RC car or something or a little project board. And, mm -hmm. uh, he would nonchalantly be like, yo, Tammy, come hold this for me. And she'd be holding like helping or whatever for like a minute or so. And then he'd be like, okay, yeah. Can you hand me that? Can you do that? Can you give this wire? Cool. And she'd like, we, we got uh, happy to help out. And then he's like, yeah, no, t no, don't push these two together. And he, she pushed the wires together and fucking electrocute the shit out of herself. <laughs> and he would laugh on the ground and I realized that I am now that guy. Uh, <laughs> so, well done. Uh, Puck didn't see the video, so I guess, I mean, we can play my video again if he needs to see it. I mean, I'm just saying. What, you want me to play your other video or you want me to save your other video for tomorrow? You want, you want to have a three uh, fight? No, 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 no. Save it, save it, save it. Right, but you can right. play my first video again. All right, I'll give you one more. We'll get, we'll get you one more. We're going to pad this episode hard. Uh, <laughs> this one's for Puck. <laughs> <laughs> Using other people's content. Love it. Motherfucking bootleg fireworks. I swear to God, it sounds like that hold guy. Hold hands. You go. Okay, come on. <laughs> hey, hold on. 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 Two cars. Come. You got two cars. Two car coming. Not cars. Car. You got two car coming. You got two car coming two different ways. <laughs> Here you go, man. Bag up, bag up, bag up, Terry. Put it in reverse, Terry. Put it in reverse. Oh, Lord. Lord, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. That kid what is not even trying to Lord, help him. Terry, what's the one? It's not, not helpful. All right, we're done. No, no more of that. Black and night with a surf. All right, apparently Gabby was doing the nice thing and actually set up a straw poll real quick. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go. But, Joe, uh, you can't put a troll answer. Yeah, you can. 
Unless you make unless you do all that apply. Oh, some bull that's some bullshit. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Come on, shake it again. <laughs> I just so you know that video that just played wasn't Curly's video. That was my video, so Mm -hmm. Adjust your votes, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, if they mess up, it's their own problem. That's just part of the American way. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I demand a recount. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I want names on the screen next to the. All video. right, it's clear your fucking video one. All right, you win. You win this oh, round of. Fights. You this round of DKG. Whose video is the better opener? Dot com. Uh, we'll move this into. Uh, actually, I don't know. Did you want to talk about anything that's been going on with this week? Uh, we we missed last week due to. It's fucking. It's it's hot, bro. It's just. Is it hot, hot where you are too? All right. Is yeah. it just? I, I, I don't know these things. Like. Uh, uh, no, no, it's just. It's hot across the board, bro. It's. Uh, Wait. I always forget. You know. You know. It's. You know how that is. Like you always forget trauma in your life, right? You always forget just how. You know, bad it hurt when you broke that arm, or you you forget how how shitty it was when you were in that mood. So you're always thinking like, man, like I'm so happy, like I've grown up. I'm a much better, like more well rounded adult. I don't get mad at things anymore. Summertime fucking hits out here, and I am a fucking cranky piece of shit human being to everything that's around me, and I'm so mad. I hate the heat. I I don't I I'll get uncomfortable. I'll get annoyed. And and because you don't have to deal with it in the shifts that we have to deal with it, snow is always my detractor for mm. just like if there's enough snow on the ground, I'll kill a fucking man to make it go away. Like I will. <laughs> like if if you you could tell me some magical bullshit, you could be like, if you kill that man, the snow will just be gone. And I'm like, huh? So what do you have to do in snow? You have to what shovel your shit out or you have to get I don't I have no idea. I've never had to I've never oh, wait, had to wait, I've never so, had to insulate a pipe. I'm just throwing, I mean, like, those are the thing, world right? they you'll, live. You'll watch the news, and they're like, we'll get a, hey, guys, we'll have a light dusting, right? Which means, <laughs> okay, I got to put on my heavy shoes tomorrow, but I don't have to do shit, right? And then my phone is still up. dead. The heat <laughs> killed my phone, okay? The snow doesn't kill your phone. It, it could. Uh, and then you, you wake up in that morning after the weatherman told you light dusting, light dusting throughout the night. Like, don't even get your shovels, ladies and gentlemen. And then you wake up, and there's four inches of snow outside your door. So then you have the whole go through this whole mental process. You're like, do I care? Like, do I care? Do I, like, I could just close the door right now yeah. and not care. Then it's like, oh, is that where you? you yeah. You, but... you, you check your rations at home. You're like, all right, I got enough liquor to get through the weekend. I got, I got yeah, snack yeah, foods. <laughs> And then, and then, because depending on the region in which you live in on the East Coast, right, certain amounts of snow depict your day. So here, four four inches in other places will shut it, shut shit down, right? Four inches here is like, all right, there's four inches of snow on the ground. You can come in twenty minutes late. You're like, bro, come on, <laughs> just shut it down. Just shut it down. No one cares. Like, no one needs whatever it is that we have. So that means, all right, now I gotta shovel the fucking walk. I gotta shovel my fucking car out. I gotta, I gotta be mindful to not bury my neighbor's car even more. And then you're like, and then also. You gotta have the thing. Now this is another dense East Coast thing. You gotta have something to put in your space after you shovel it out, because that so it doesn't has just fill up. Literally, no, 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 no. There, there's, there's the possibility of it filling up, which is fine. But then there's the snakes. There's those motherfucking snakes out there that are like, ooh, I'm gonna pull into this motherfucker spot. He shoveled it perfectly. Oh, like public parking for fucking spots yeah, and shit? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, because you want to come back to that. That's your spot. Yeah. yeah. You're like, look, I, I shoveled it, fits my fucking car. Wait, you so if you if you shovel. if you come home and you got street parking, you gotta park your car somewhere and then shovel a spot for yourself and then get into yeah. it? Yeah. Like like if you were gone when it snowed and then you come back, you gotta <laughs> shovel a space to put your car into. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> yeah. Like, do you keep yeah. a shovel in your car? Like, do you go oh, yeah, and no, get most, a shovel? Most people keep most people keep shovels in their car and in their house. Oh, y'all got a bad fucking deal, yo. 
So, but then there's the thing that if you I'd just your car, I, I'd have just park my car into the snow. I just drive right into the and snow. You come back and some motherfucker is in your shit. You you start knocking on doors. You're like, yo, you drive the Hyundai Sonata? Do you drive the Hyundai Sonata? No. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you. You know somebody who drives that Hyundai Sonata? <laughs> who drives that? I shoveled that spot out, and they're like, oh shit, somebody, yo, let me get my gun. I got you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> So I'm trying to think now, 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 now this might get into an ethical question. If you, if, if so you're, you're saying you put something in your spot to block it. Wh- what is an acceptable thing that people understand universally? Cause I'm Usually, a motherfucker that I, I've walked out places and I've seen someone put a fucking cone into a spot. That's a public spot. Yeah. And I'm like, well now I'm pissed cause I got to move your cone. Okay. Sure, <laughs> I see, no. People put, people put the amenities of things there there are people who will shovel it out and then put snow back in right because then if somebody tries to go in they gotta they gotta work for it right so you like look i got my car out you want my shit you gotta work for it right so it's the, the, the equivalency of, of 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 burning down the oil fields so that no yeah. one else can get it uh, there's that um the number one thing and and i don't i don't know some of the other like kids will have to say for for where they grew up but for me i grew up in the black community so you put your lawn furniture in that shit right (laughs) because everybody knows whose porch that chair was on (laughs) so this this came this came up recently and i said i'm not afraid to move someone's shit though i'm i like i'm like oh why'd you put your garbage in the spot i guess i'll move it for you i'll put it in your your trash can there you go because people out here and this is the and and and, uh, like for instance this whole Uh strip this whole strip that i live on there are no there's no street parking and there's only two side streets within a half mile. And so those two side streets are one's residential and one is city, like because it's a main street. So if you go down the main street one, it's hit or miss because if there's doing like construction, which they are, that whole place is now filled with whoever was in that construction building or parking lot that's getting redone. And then there's a residential area and people I've seen them that like they, they love to park their third car in their front of the home at the public mm-hmm. spots. And they'll go out there every morning. They'll put little cones up, like "Don't take my Beamer spot." And I'm like, "Oh, that's a good spot. Thanks for hiding it for me. Thanks." And I'll put their cones into their trash can. And I'm like, "There you go." Like, but uh, someone, someone recently uh, from a local uh, business, I can't even remember what it was, but it was on the radio that they uh, they had to announce and put up public PSAs that said, uh, "You are you are not allowed." Just just a reminder to patrons of our businesses. You're not allowed to have someone stand and save you a spot. It's like you know, everyone that's been to a beat shitty has done this, where you're like, you're like, hey, get out! I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive down these two rows. You go over there. If there's a spot standing, it call me on the cell phone. I'm gonna come drive over to it. You grab that spot if you see someone leaving. Yeah. And there are people that'll sit there and honk and get angry, and then they'll go into the business and get angry. So the business has put out a big thing that was like. No, no, no savesies. No, no one can stand to a spot and save it because everybody's done it. But it's the worst when you drive by. You're like, oh, that's a spot. And you get in there. There's fucking Mary sitting on the ground. Someone, someone's 12 year old is sitting on the ground with their cell phone. And you're like, no, 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 no. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. I'll hit you. I'll hit you with my car. Get the fuck out. Yeah, of no, no. That, that is the so that's the equivalent. And, and most people have said the same thing with chairs. So, yeah, we put we usually put lawn furniture outside in front of the house. And like I've seen I've seen. I've seen people get in fights. Oh yeah, like yeah, I've seen people get in fucking fisticuff. Like I'm out there, you know, shoveling, and I see it. I'm like, oh, he, you just moved that man chairs. <laughs> oh shit! And that man didn't go far, and he and he just roll up like, yo, the fuck, you you parking in my spot, like, and I'm like, oh, shit, it <laughs> like, ain't your I spot, dude. Later. It is not your spot. Look, if it's in front of your, I'm sorry, if it's in front of your house and you show and you worked for it, now now just rolling up on a public area. Yeah, I get the snow thing spot, throws fuck that. Yeah. Fuck that. If you worked for it, that shit is yours. <laughs> like, I don't know. There's got to be a timer or a something that you can fucking do. Nah, like. dog. It, it, it's a it's an unspoken law. You you get fucked up. And I and, and it, other people will jump in too if they found out you were the one that stole somebody's. You like what? Yo, that man worked for that spot. No, 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 no. Beat that motherfucker's ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. No, I get it. I, I get. I, 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 the, the snow part is different, <laughs> in my opinion. But yeah, not terrible. Uh, I don't care if it's a house versus apartment. That's public streets, yo. I pay for that street. Okay. <laughs> 
I can understand if you worked for it and you moved the snow, but if you're just fucking trying to grab a spot that's in front of your house because it's convenient for you, you know, I get mad as fuck when people put their damn trash cans on the fucking road. I'm like, no, 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 no. That's where I park. <laughs> I will, I will, because I don't, I don't care about the outside shape of my car. I will push your trash cans with my car <laughs> down the street, all of them in a row. I'll just like get up close on them, like. <laughs> they fall over. I don't give a shit. It's not my problem. Fucking. <laughs> Uh, that's terrible. That's why I need to live in an apartment with my own my own parking because I'm a bad person. Uh, anyways, yeah. let's move on to the news bag. DKG well. Let's fill that knowledge hole. With Kaz and Carly's news bag. My mixer is already fucking hot as shit. I hate <laughs> the heat. I hate everything about it. I don't want to do shit mm. anymore. Pregnant. Exactly fucking feeling it all right um i got a fashion one mm, by all means um so i figured the, it was gonna be the... all world cup news right now we're gonna do any... fuck the world cup bro brazil <laughs> lost i don't care any fucking you want more. your neymar fucking flopping around like a fucking fish on the field you gotta do what you gotta do to win bro <laughs> someone um, someone this one so... comes from mac Go ahead. Go ahead. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, the amount of time he was actually on the ground, 14 total minutes. Out of uh, 120 minutes? <laughs> no, like total. Just in total because he did it a couple of times. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He spent a total of a, over all those games. But, uh, but well, you know what? Still the highest paid. Actually, well, yeah, probably the second highest paid player in all of soccer yeah the, the he is one of the he's got a he's got a sag award card for his acting abilities uh he's gonna get an oscar for uh his skills at the world cup in acting uh whatever no but uh, someone someone mentioned that uh which i, I didn't think was a thing because i don't i don't really you know i never really followed the shit before but like it's a it's a straight up all european world cup now there's no south american teams and shit so it's yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's great uh one one story that i didn't cover actually uh that that, that got brought up because I, I didn't know if we'd actually someone would bring up the world cup um but uh some fucking uh, L- uh london uh you know not not i don't want to say old globe but like that kind of shit like big uh big musical theater actors got all pissed off because there was two ladies in the front row during their their show of the titanic musical where they were just they were just loudly and obviously watching the World Cup with England uh, in it because <laughs> it was happening right at the same time as the show, and like they got a point where they stopped the fucking musical and was like, "Dude, ladies, get off your fucking phone!" And they put a, th- a finger up that they thumbsed up and said, "Don't worry, I think we're gonna win though." And they just kept watching the game and screaming about goals and shit, and it was like, "You are the worst people in all of history of men," and <laughs> it's great. Anyways, good shit. Um, all right. So speaking of that, in uh, in domination of the the sports world, uh, Nike's trying to give you a way to show off your sock game. So they're coming out with clear shoes. Okay, to show off your socks. I don't know if that's the reason, but these shoes are are clear. Does this mean I have to wear the same socks all the time? Because I don't at all. I grab literally whatever I can find in the bin. And I put them on my feet. I have like an ankle sock, a fucking long sock, <laughs> a gray sock, a white sock, a blue sock. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear them without socks. I, I, sneaker, sneaker culture, sneaker culture is just weird as fuck. Um, but yeah, it's just this is the new thing. I'm Shocker, trying to. Sh- so if you scroll on. through this, you'll see people wearing them with like. I need to see it. So like here, really here, here's here's my initial socks. concern. My initial concern: uh, how the fuck you make it clear if it's not just plastic? Like, and if you think about with the concept of wearing like see a plastic mesh? shoe, see, oh, it's like a mesh thing. Okay, give me, give me. This yeah, thing. Shoes, shoes are generally made out of mesh, bro. Like, what, like what leather shoe? and you fucking. You gotta stop buying your shoes at fucking These Walmart, are, uh, bro. Uh, okay, but you, I'm, tr- I'm trying to feel like I'm, th- I'm thinking the material that like LA lights are made out of, like the bottom portion of an LA light shoe, like that fucking hard rubber that's all fucking like. LA gear? LA light. Those LA, you know, those fucking light up shoes, dude. LA you know gear, what? yeah, bro. Um, okay, okay, so they're like, okay, they're kind, they're kind of see through. All right, so what? what I mean. 
You can see people's janky well, ass right, toes so, up so in there. Here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. I first looked at this. And at first I was like, yo, this is dumb, right? You're, you bought them. You bought them. You bought them, did you? I ain't buy them yet. I ain't buy them yet. But I mean, they're 160 right here, but I, that's I'll cheap in your sneaker drop. world. You know that. I, that is. That is actually cheap for, for some flagship ass sneakers. But I. I guarantee I, I when that, that first rain hits and your water's flowing through your socks. <laughs> I mean, I've already had that problem in my life. Like, but I guess if you're if you're if you're paying over a hundred bucks for shoes, you're not going to be wearing them out in the rain. Uh, you got you got backup boots for that shit. Like, I mean, I guess you, you just you just go into a store and ask for two plastic bags. Well, because I've, I've seen this right. Like, I, I I there was a story that we covered a long time ago with a with a dude down in San Diego. Actually, there was a small sneaker shop down here dedicated to that high end sneaker kind of mentality. And they had, uh, what were they called, Yeezys, right? Was those shoes? The... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Yeezys. So they had these ones on sale, and this kid that was like, that was honestly like 15 years old, he was frequenting the store all the time. Everyone in, this, in the community in San Diego knew him, and in a sneaker community, which is a fucking, that's a thing. Uh, yeah. Knew this kid, but, but like a local fucking colloquial sneaker club, like, come on. Yeah. Uh, but they knew this kid and everything, and they were like, really excited for him, because he bought, he, he like, Wanted these Yeezys, and he pay, he spent months trying to get the money to buy them, and they were on the thing, and he bought them, and he like got all excited, and he's you know, wearing them everywhere, and he took pictures of them and shit, and put them on the internet, and the internet looked at them and was like, "Yo, those are fucking fake Yeezys," and he tried to take them back to the store, and they were like, "Oh no, you switched them, dude. Like th- those are the ones you bought from here," and like the San Diego community blew the fuck up trying to get this business <laughs> fucked up and try to get this dude his money yeah. back. Because he's like, I don't know, sir. I just bought these shoes, and they were they were supposed to be really cool yeebles. And and then like yeah, and, uh, he played the kid card hard, and uh, they were like, we we didn't know. We must have bought fake ones. Blah blah blah. But shit, man, I've had shoes that that got my feet just as wet as these ones will get your feet wet. Uh, when in a in a in a in a, in a, in a rainstorm. <clears throat> like I, I I when I was younger, I used to like shoes a lot, and then I kind of got out of it. And then, like, then for a really long time, there were just shoes that, like, I just thought were hot trash. Like, I just did not like the design of any shoes ever, which made it easier to not give a fuck. But now we're coming back around to where there are shoes that I like. And it's a struggle, man. There's there's a struggle to keep that suppressed. It's just like, ooh, I wanna, ooh, I wanna, ooh, I wanna buy those. Ooh. <laughs> like, so there was there was one there was one time in my life that I ever got trendy shoes and they were they were uh fuck me goddamn i'm gonna say this uh i had it was i think it was in middle school i got i got suede vans they were Mm. fucking like they were that that suede material and shit and it was like don't don't get them wet treat them good (laughs) i i don't know if it's a thing that you just get into an older sense or you just i because i still to this day don't know but man your shoes get fucked up like shoes get like, how do you I've keep them known, safe? I've known some people who are super into sneakers and they buy like the whole kit, which essentially the whole kit is like a, some cleaning shit of a specific rag that you use and a toothbrush. And I've seen I've just been hanging out with people. And is that like, what you do? You clean all day? Oh, like, is it a, yes. Yeah. And they'd be like, oh, shit, it, it's two forty five. Hold on. I got to clean my uh, Air Maxes. Yeah, because I've, 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 like, I've seen I've seen I've seen people walk into a room like, and. Go, in jewelry fucking glass thing and they're just like <laughs> like i've seen people go i've seen i've seen people come into a room and their shoes are brighter than the sun in the room and you're like how did how would you even maintain that like my shit gets dingy and dirty and i've seen people like i remember this in school i remember people cleaning the rocks at the bottom grit and shit like just fucking gotta get the little the little fucking like, like that's what the grit's for god damn it like it's it's uh, yeah whatever man how crazy as fuck. Um, I love it though. I mean, I think I mean you're at the right point in your life, right? You're at the point where you have you have some disposable income. You could get some shoes if you wanted to. Yeah, I could, but it's still. Well, see, uh, so so when you, the other weird part is, I don't want to get super into it. And and as you mentioned, the, the the like local sneaker community. The thing about the local sneaker community. For, for that kind of stuff. The reason those exist is because what people do is is because they're 
collectible, but they're a collectible thing that you use. People trade them with each other or buy them from each other and shit like that. You buy so some it's like, used oh. Yeezys? Yeah, so people will be like, oh shit, yo, you got the you got the limited edition fucking Air Maxes. Um I got the I got the the fucking generation two butter Yeezys. Uh what side do you wear? Oh shit, you wear a fucking ten and a half too? Yo, you trying to trade up? Like, yeah, yeah, let's trade up. And then you just you trade trees. And then now you got the, the new Air Maxes and they got the butter Yeezys. Do any of them actually help your game anymore? Or is that was that just a advertising from the day? Like pump up your fucking sneakers and you get a fucking better basketball shots. Uh, there actually, there's a YouTube video about that somewhere. I forgot. Oh my god! Fuck. Aerodynamic fucking um, shoes. Like they yeah. had all the ads back in the day that you know you just all just blatant lying. We're like, yeah. <clears throat> I was like, no matter how many shoes that I'm gonna wear, I'm not gonna be good at basketball. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm a I'm a four foot seven fat white kid from San Diego. <laughs> like I'm not I'm not laying up baskets anytime soon, no matter what shoes I wear. <clears throat> Oh my god. All right. All you right. Got another yeah, no, I'll carry on. Sorry. Uh I was enjoying it. Um you ever um <laughs> You ever you, you ever just get caught doing something that was considered bad and uh then you got to turn yourself in cuz you're cuz you're stuck. <laughs> I don't know how to preface this. I was trying to like I was trying to relate with the story real quickly. Oh, thank um, you for that. There was a uh, there was a uh, a gentleman, <clears throat> uh, and this is this is Europe. This is a, a, a BBC story uh, in um, Madison. I don't even know where it's. Never mind. It uh, doesn't matter. Uh, so, uh, okay. Uh, actually, no shit. This is U.S. Oh fuck! It's just BBC covered it. So this is in Wisconsin. Oh shit! Oh, it's Wisconsin. Uh, a dude had to go and check himself into a. Uh, hospital, and then he turned himself into the police because he thought he had to, uh, which makes sense. He probably should, actually, to be honest. Uh, 32-year-old uh, on a typical outing of his uh, where he goes on to buses with cameras strapped to his feet to take upskirt videos uh, had his foot explode because <laughs> the battery popped inside of the camera that was on his feet. Um, so he... <clears throat> he went and he... The, the explosion happened, which fucked up his feet. And then he went to the... He went to... Um, he turned himself into the police, but they, they had to, uh, unfortunately, turn him away uh, because he hadn't actually taken any photos yet. <laughs> it, just was, it just happened before anything happened. So he turned himself in for uh, what he quoted as a sex offense. Like so, he walked into a room. And was like, "Hi, I'm here. Uh, I'm a sexual offender. Uh, my foot exploded. Can you please treat my foot?" Uh, and they were like, "Yeah." Um, they reprimanded him heavily and uh, sent him off. But yeah, unless you, unless you actually have the photos, you can't get fined for it. So apparently, that's happened. Um, but that's Wisconsin for you. So now you know you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know even know what the point is. What? What? <laughs> Okay. What Alibaba fucking camera did he buy that it fucking exploded? If you're already searching for footwear spy cameras, you're already on a bad Chinese website. Like you're not you're not you're not at B and H. You're not, you're not like at he straight he straight up <laughs> bought that shit on Alibaba. I know yeah. he did. Well you're not you're not at you're not at fucking uh uh Kodak's website looking for fucking good foot lenses. For your your camera on your foot, uh, you're not you're not like uh, you, you get a pair of boots, right? Yeah, cut a hole in them, and then put a GoPro in there. i Kaz's got you covered if you need your fucking uh, how to how to take pictures <laughs> of unsuspecting like, people with skirts on. I mean, like, I'm sorry, like. <laughs> <laughs> what did he buy? What Chinese bullshit did he buy? I can tell you, there's oh there's been two two God. two two experiences in my entire life uh, that I've bought uh, something that battery exploded was one of them was a MacBook, 
uh, and I actually didn't buy it. It was a mm-hmm. customer I was working on. There was a notorious amount of MacBooks that had batteries that exploded after the one year warranty. But the other thing was, uh, and, and, and again, it's one of those moments where something bad happens and you get a little bit mad and then you realize, yeah, I earned that. You know, like I, I earned that one. And, uh, and it was, I was trying to buy a, um, a ha- what, quote unquote hacking kit for a PS Vita. And it was the combination of a, f- a, a, a battery, quote unquote, tool. And it was a, basically, it was, a, it was a developer thing that they did. It was a, in the battery slot, they put a specialized battery that had a circuitry to it, and it would kick the system into recovery mode, and then they could run dev equipment on it. And uh, that I got leaked to the public, but then tiny, shitty websites reverse-engineered it and made the batteries of their own so you could buy them. And I bought one, and I put it in my PlayStation, and it immediately exploded. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, you know what? I got really mad. I was like, I'm a fucking fuck this website. And I was like, wait a minute. I deserve this. This is what I deserve for doing what I'm doing. You know, <clears throat> what are you gonna do? And what yeah. GoPro fits in your fucking boot? You can have one giant clown shoe with GoPro sticking yeah, in it. You just it? get like some fucking like ugly ass work boots, like that are. All right, don't do this. Don't. <laughs> I'm referencing <laughs> to... hard. Don't do this. But you get like some shoes that are a couple of sizes too big. So that your foot holds the GoPro. Hold on, hold on. I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes. <laughs> Stop. So that your foot holds the GoPro mm-hmm, at the top. Mm-hmm. And then you cut the hole because the GoPro doesn't need a bigger, a giant hole to see. And it'll run all fucking day. And where do you find the like, ladies? <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> you can pay women to do this. Go to the fucking fair. Disney World. They're all there. Cool. Clip saved. Thanks. Uh... <laughs> Uh, good times. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that was that was my Wisconsin story. I I have I have more. <laughs> no, read it, Chad. Okay, okay. okay. It's like I'll take over. Yeah, you buy you buy a size thirteen when you wear a size nine. There you go. Um, all right, fucking. I wore Jesus. a size eleven and a half. I was, uh, see, I, I can't do this because I wear a size 15, so... The fuck? Like, um, all right. Let's talk about people who take shit too far. Uh, being this man in this, uh, this story who went to a McDonald's, made an order, right? Was like, all right, got his food, went, sat down, was ready to eat. But his stuff was cold. Mm. And he was irate. Mm. Ugh, how, mm. ugh, mm. Cold, cold mm. food. Mm. Right? So you now, just you walk up and you ask them to remake it and then they get you the get a number of options here, right? Yep, Crowley yep. says mm. you walk up, you go, Hey, my burger's cold. You know, can you remake it? You you could throw it, which we have covered stories of people <laughs> just fucking throwing food like children. Uh you could just you could leave and hit up Twitter and, and everything else. They would or, they would gladly remake it. Or you do what this man did, and you call the cops. Mm. Mm. Always works out. <laughs> yeah. Where is this man from? Uh, I, I, this <laughs> was, where was this? It just says Hamilton. Was this Hamilton? actually a Burger King? No, it was a McDonald's. It was mm. legitimately a McDonald's. And uh, uh, People get weird know. about the McDonald's, dude. Like, yeah, oh, my 29 cent burger was not up to standard. I didn't get my two exact pickles. <laughs> yeah. You gotta open this one up and see this man because he looks like the type of gentleman who would call the cops. This motherfucker is wearing a fedora, ladies and gentlemen. I try to call it a derby, but it's a motherfucking fedora and, and cargo shorts. Is this the one picture that's on here? This This really, this is... In Ontario, Canada. Yeah, this is a spy shot. And somebody took this because they were like, yo, this motherfucker called the cops. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you that mad. Oh, fucking people, dude. No, so this was up in the great, the great Canada. Wait, Canada still has 911? They're not like some weird shit, like some British, like 9999 or fucking uh, turn your phone upside down and, and, and spell a letter out or something? No. People take their food fucking seriously. I'm serious. It's, it's gourmet. Gour- gourmet. Also, how do you even end up with a cold fucking burger? What 
he ordered it through Uber Eats and came and picked it up. Oh, which that's, that's means, pro- yeah. which means it was his fucking fault. Because you showed we... up late, bitch. Why does Uber Eats have a pickup option? Like, Postmates is trying to get me with this shit too. They're like, yo, yo, try our newest feature. You know that whole the whole basis of our company where we bring you the food? Now you can go get it from the restaurant. What? Why the fuck? <laughs> Why the fuck would I ever order it? And I, I, I guess there are a few websites or a few companies that just don't like make food. Because I feel like I could call up any restaurant, even, you know, a- any restaurant, even like mom and pop run home homegrown restaurants and be like, yo, I'm going to be showing up in about a half hour. Can you make me a, a cool meatball sandwich? And they're going to fucking make you a meatball sandwich. Like, I, I don't need Postmates to be the stand between. I don't need fucking like. Uh, so weird. Yeah. I told you I had that story of fucking Denny's, man. Fucking. Denny's is two feet from my house, and I was very drunk one day, and I wanted Denny's. And I ordered it from Postmates, and I was like, you know what I want? Oh, I want a fucking Denver scramble. I want, I want the pancake, and I want the fucking the sausage, the link that comes with it, and I want the fucking the bacon bits. And I've never in my entire life seen Denny's food outside of the lights of a Denny's, or just, I mean, there's just a clarity that comes with it when it happens. And on top of it, uh, this motherfucking Postmates driver again. The Denny's is I could walk to it. It is two and a half blocks away. The Denny's driver picked it up and a little Postmates thing popped up and it was like, "Yo, your food is gonna be there. It just got picked up. It's gonna be there within ten minutes." And here's the tracker for <laughs> watching your truck, your car. Drunken ass me was like, "All right, cool. It'll be right here. I'm gonna go stand out in my living room." And then I watched him and that motherfucker drove the gambit. He drove. He drove the 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 what's the what's the thing that fucking bicyclists do. The, the fucking uh, Tour de France. The Tour de France around fucking all of San Diego <laughs> with my food in his car. And I'm just like, okay, it was an hour and a half before that food got to me. And that motherfucker tries to show up. And I was like, cool, man. Thanks. And I go to open up, I'm like, yo, but I got my pancake and shit. And I open up under real lighting, like my actual Denny's meal. And it looked like someone fucking turned a pancake into a raisin. And my sausage was just a fucking, uh, just a toothpick. And I was like, what is this food? This is the worst in the world. And I, yeah, uh, it was mad. I was mad about it. I got really mad, but I didn't call the cops. That's what I didn't do. I didn't call the damn, co- the police. <laughs> Try to tell them to go find this Uber driver. I mean, you probably are a little more justified, but yeah, still no. But like, you, you just fight that man. <laughs> I look. I walked out to that man. I, I don't know because, like, again, I'm not a person that's gonna get into an irate fight over some food. I'm already being a lazy fat ass. I'm ordering Denny's from Postmates. I'm a little drunk in the first place, so I'm already checking myself. But I walked out to that guy's car because, again, Postmates drivers don't come up to your apartment. So I walked out to his car, and he and I was just waiting for like at least a sorry. And I just I was being stoic. I just walked up and I was like, he's like, you the you Brian? And I'm like, mm hmm. He's like, hey man, I got your Denny's. And I'm like, mm hmm. He's like, cool, man. I hope you have a great day. And I'm like, mm, all right, man. And I walked away. And I was like, mm, no, you're not getting a tip. You're not getting a tip from me. I'm fucking, God damn. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Denny's doesn't yeah. age well. Denny's doesn't, yeah, it's Denny, Denny's, Denny's actually disappears. It's got a half-life of three, 35 minutes. It's terrible. But anyways, yeah, McDonald's, man. Good times. I don't even know if it has a shelf life in the first place. But yeah, no, no, no. Fuck this dude. Um, uh, you want you want Florida story or do you want Pornhub story? There's two types of stories ooh. we got here at DKG. And I got one of each for you. And you're going to get them both. But which one do you want first? Pornhub, bro. All right. Pornhub. Porn motherfucking hub. In, uh, in, in their continuing essence to make me their favorite human beings in the entire world. Uh, or make them my favorite human beings in the entire world. Uh, Pornhub is now doing uh, closed captioning on videos. Uh, they're having writers transcribe uh, all of the audio sensory information that you get in your typical porno video, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, and now Which and now they, closed captioning. So they already have the VO ones, like yeah, which are just. 
Those are the, those are the, their described videos casually uh, yeah. category, right? And, and I love it, right? Because it's it, it that that is the wild west at this point, right? Mm. And I don't know if I saw one or somebody showed. I think somebody showed me one. Like there is one, right? The young lady who was describing the acts, she was like, you know, I'm gonna fucking describe what I'm watching, right? Ooh, ooh, she put that dick in her mouth and she, you know. Mm. Then there was one where the chick just, she just was reading the script, and and Jenny <laughs> takes his giant cock in her <sighs> lovely voluptuous mouth. <laughs> they begin having sex. I, I, we need to get to the point where the crossover right. is. We get people like uh, like uh, like world renowned audiobook readers or voice actors doing voiceovers for fucking porn because it would be phenomenal. Just getting into it, and we need William Shatner reading shit. We need fucking uh, Captain Picard. Uh, we need all of it. Uh, the closed captions are pretty. I mean, so here's here's the thing, and this is this is just telling. Telling you stories, of course. The majority of porn I'm going to watch is going to already be either silent because of people are possibly around, right? Like, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to have my phone on fucking full volume, where like there's roommates <laughs> around and whatnot. Okay, um, so I'm already usually listening to it and it pretty silent. But I do like a little noise in my life, so I, I'll kick the volume up, and then you know halfway through, got to kick it back down because everyone gets excited, and uh, that's the way it works. But oh, oh yeah, no, 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 I've I've uh, I've been in those situations where you're playing the volume game with porn, yeah, because like... it starts off and everyone's doing their little like pre-screened active scripts, and they're just like, you're like oh, you're like, you're like, oh, hey, Jake, oh, okay, you know what? Yeah, I, oh, I want to hear this part. I want to hear this part. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, nobody's gonna know. So it's just like, oh yeah, oh Mark. You've been oh. working out? Oh yeah. Ooh. I'd really like to get an A on my my grade paper. Then they, then they do that hard cut and it's just you know like, oh <laughs> no, 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 turn that down, turn that down, turn that down. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, I always have to make sure I always have to make sure my phone is oriented in the right position so that with my one hand I can hit the volume buttons at the same time. Because you have to play fast and loose with it. But so in my effort to look at the story, uh, there was a uh, a sample video. That you can look at, and it gives you the category. And then I went to one of the sample videos, yeah. and I don't know if you notice this about porn. The need for closed captioning is strongly in the first third of a porn video. <laughs> the need for it falls off after the first third. So it was, it was the first third of it was like a lot of closed captioning. It was like, oh hey, yeah, oh man, it's, I've been having a really tough time at this university. Oh, hey, I can probably help you out. Come over for a private study session, blah, blah, blah. And it just kept going. And then in a third of the way into it, it was the Colts caption were just, mm, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> like, okay, did you need to, did you need to really do all this part? <clears throat> Yo, if you're gonna go for it, you go for it, man. You gotta, you gotta go all in, all in. Uh, I appreciate their effort. They're fucking fantastic kids. I love them. Uh, yeah. Pornhub gives scholarships to kids and shit, and universities, and ah, they're good guys. Love them. Yeah, when you're winning, you're giving. That's what you do. Um, all right. Uh, ooh, yeah, this one, this one, this one. This is my last one. Um, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I just realized Frank all my story about Nant? people being about people being just fucking shitty human beings. Um, actually, in, in this one, because I haven't read the whole story, I don't know who's in the wrong here, but I'll I'll, I'll give you the information as I got it. Uh, so a wedding couple was uh, pulling up to do their wedding photos uh, at this this well known park, um, and you know they were they were all setting up doing their shit. Except for the fact that there was a lady in the area that they wanted to do the photos. Now, I don't know who was there first. Sunbathing. Okay. Topless. Oh, oh okay. A public park? <sighs> that part, I'm not sure. Like I said, I didn't read that far. <laughs> so what happened? There is... They 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 claim she was rude and abrasive and uh, just shameless 
Like, is this my mom? Uh, could be. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, so she refused. She refused to move, um, and the the forced the wedding party to post around her. Uh, like, like, bro, you can move to the left. You like, I don't know. Um, yeah, and and they were like, people approached her and and tried to politely ask her to move, and she just pretended to be asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that maneuver. That's my favorite maneuver. I'm like. Mm. Mm. Mm-mm. 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 Now nah, I'm asleep. Yeah. That's fantastic. Man, they get their photos. I would have let the photos in. I'm let her in the photos, man. Like that's yeah. that's how you do it. Some people Photoshop like Tyrannosaurus Rexes and shit in their fucking wedding photos. You rather just have a crazy Florida woman topless in the background the whole time. They gotta make a memory, guys. This is how you do weddings. You make memories. You don't gotta. You know, yeah. I'm going to fight it. Um, sorry. Well, uh, we'll go to my Florida man story. So I actually, I forgot to mention this. Um, in uh, this, uh, What I still have is, an, is, is one additional story after this, but it's more of a, a full-on discussion that we're all going to have together. Uh, <laughs> but so I'll, I'll run this story, and then we'll run that one. Uh, this one is my, my I, I picked it mainly because it's just Florida. But in addition to it, you ever, you ever have those times where you hear something about a story or whatever, and you're like... This sounds like a fucking video game that me, Kaz, and Icon were playing. Like, this sounds like a a, a, a GTA, like, random time that we were just fucking around. Because, like, the shit that you do in video games that leave, leave you open to the world, you have to, like, sometimes yeah. wonder, like, man, what are those NPCs fucking thinking? Like, you, you're just, you know, knocking people out and just taking their car and whatever. And, like, you're like, those NPCs are going to be like, what the fuck's wrong with that guy? Like, what is going on? Um, so this whole thing plays out, like, pretty much, like, it was someone playing these two Florida people as human beings. Um, but basically, the, 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 the title is uh, a, pair, a pair of people high on bath salts fired guns at fireflies, mistaking them for alien lasers. Um, so that's just good in its own, in its own right, right? Um, but 30, 30-year-old and 22-year-old uh, high on bath salts uh, had a bizarre chain of events where they were in their backyard uh, having a uh, quote-unquote self, self-proclaimed bad trip, and uh, they had fireflies coming into their backyard, and they thought they were alien laser beams, so they got their revolvers out and started firing back at the, uh, uh, at the, at the, the fireflies, at which point they were overcome by them, and so they were scared and ran to a neighbor's home. Uh, they got to the neighbor's home and immediately met the neighbor and asked them uh, to call the cops because something was chasing them. The neighbor called the cops, and then during the portion of the time period where the guy was calling the cops, they broke his front windows to get into the house, which they didn't have to do because he was helping them in the first place. They were just like, all right, cool, thanks for calling the cops. Smash the windows. Uh, Then they they ran from there to the next-door neighbor's house from them, Smashed that person's windows too without talking to them. Then came back. Uh, at this point, one of the guys, the, the guy, one of the guys with the guns, uh, asked to take a shower because he needed to get the goo off of his body because it was burning his skin. And that's when the the neighbor got the guns off of him. And then the cops came and took care of them. Um, I just, I just love, I just love the, this. Like, while the person was on the phone with nine one one, Shields allegedly broke a window before he left the home and went to the next door neighbor's house and broke another window there. Uh, it's just, it sounds like how we deal with video games at all times. Like, we're just, are you fucking smashing this man's windows? No, 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 no. It's fine. It don't matter. It's, it's a video game. <laughs> like, <laughs> I've featured all of this in my head and I'm just like, <laughs> they're just fucking crazy. Uh, like, yeah. If you, if you need it, uh, I mean, you don't need it, but you need it. There's the photo of the peeps, uh. Cause you know. Oh, I need it. Oh, I need it. I need it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, they weren't high. They just went for it. Yeah. <laughs> and then blamed it on being high. Bath salts will fuck you up, man. It seems somewhat normal. It seems somewhat. Um. But yeah, that's that's your Florida story. Um. Also, there was another Florida story, which isn't as good. I'll just throw it out there for fun. Uh, Florida man got pulled over for a DUI at a DUI check stop. Uh. Fast forward, he already had three DUIs in his experience under his belt, 
and uh, he was drinking. And so he, the cops described the scene as this. The man pulled over after driving for a while and then got out of the car and chugged his whole beer in front of me and then, <laughs> and then put his hands on the car. So this motherfucker was already like, I'm going in. I might as well fucking finish the beer. Glug out. Call it a day. Florida man. Um, all right. So, um, there's gonna be some ethical questions here at this point. This is gonna, this might, this might tear us all apart. Um, this story, this story got brought up a couple times throughout the week. Um, before I go into it, I will, I will preface it with a, with a concept. Have, have you ever, and so actually people that are, people that are part of the DKG community, uh, have been in our discord, have seen me do this, this many, many times, actually. I have committed this crime. Uh, I've been on site at a customer's place uh, for my job, and I have taken pictures of things that I find funny or ridiculous or silly. You know, and I, I usually do a, 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 a due diligence to not obviously showcase where I'm actually at, but like it'll be like, you know, something gross or something funny or whatever, or something tangled up or whatever, some dusty ass computer component or something. I'll take a picture of it and I'll put it on social media. And uh, be like, ha, 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 oh, worst nightmare for a customer, right? For a computer repair person. You know, like, oh, yeah, wonder why your network's not working and everything's fucking frayed or destroyed or whatever. Is that bad? Because I've done it many times. See, I've been in people's, like, yeah. network cabinets, and it's like there is just a fucking a screwdriver thrown into a, a fucking... Uh, 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 a, a switch or something and you're like how is that how is that okay i i feel like if you if you've ever been close to or done that job you're gonna say it's okay mm -hmm. i feel like if you think about the personal space violations people will say no um because you know people fucking imagine up any scenario in in with their head but like if you're literally like look at this computer shit like how do they expect me to fix this? You know, that that in itself isn't entailing any information, but like... Like, I've taken a screenshot of someone's desktop that's been, like, just destroyed by viruses, you know? I've taken people's... A picture of, of someone's computer that's just covered in dust and been like, yeah, you wonder why your fan's not working, you know? If there's no identifiable information, you see nothing wrong. Okay, all right, but but... As as the as the so so what if what if say someone came to your house, you you're paying for a job like I'm gonna get my kitchen installed, and person just happens to see you know, I don't know a pile of dog shit on your floor, because your dog shit everywhere <laughs> and you're like and they took a picture and send it out somewhere or they just just something that you didn't want, like would you be mad about that? I mean especially you have to one you have to find out right, so you'd have mm -hmm. to be on some social media website on Reddit or something and see like. Because people put, I mean, there's 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 cable fail, there's there's uh, cable porn, there's uh, there's uh, like a whole magazine dedicated to le le electrician failures and whatnot. Mm. Pictures rough. of someone's home rough out here in the streets. All right, so uh, uh, now that you're thinking about that, onto onto the story. Uh, so. Uh, I, a gentleman goes out to a uh, client's home. He's a plumber, right? And he's there to fix the bathroom. The toilet's overflowing or something along those lines. He's at a, this, little, this woman's house. And uh, uh, as he, as, you know, she basically, she's like, no, yeah, yeah, that, that is upstairs bathroom, you know, but it's overflowing, blah, 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 take care of it. So he goes up there and uh, uh, starts to take care of the bathroom when he turns to find uh, what he then sp posts on social media uh, in, a pr in a private Facebook group, by the way. Not, not, not just an internet blast, in a private Facebook group with other private Facebook group people. Uh, what he finds there... This wasn't... It's not moving. <laughs> I've seen that picture. <laughs> And he just posts, he just posts, uh, you know, uh, well, this isn't even the post. This is later that gets found. But he po he basically just posts like, you know, you know, uh, as a plumber, hey, my worst nightmare. Like, 
which, uh, you know, whatever. It's not a big deal. But there's no identifiable information. And it's just there. Uh, it happens very quickly that it goes from his private group of uh, Boys Club oh, yeah, Facebook 100%. and goes immediately into a, uh, a group for females uh, about their uh, advice groups that someone posts in their room. And it's like, oh, shit, you know, hide your dildos before you have a plumber come over. And it happens to be that the girl that was the person who he came to their house was part of that other group of girls on that Facebook group and noticed her shower and was like, yo, who the fuck took this? Like, and then went and, uh, you know, got the guy. So the guy got fired at this point. As you do. From the company. So at that point, I mean, I mean, here's your, here's your moral question. Is, is, uh, one, you know, do you, do you huff and puff about it? Because at that point, then you're just identifying your fucking, that's your fucking, that's your, that's your fucking giant dildo in the shower. Uh, or two, do you, do you, do you want, a, do you want the guy fired for that? Like, is that what you want? Like, do you, do you complain? See, I can't, I can't, like, I mean, you ever left your fucking sex toys in the shower and then you get that moment where you're like, fuck. That was in the shower the whole time. I had fucking people in this bathroom all day to day. Like, oh, yeah, no, like I've left, <laughs> I've left like, I, there is literally with with how my computer set up, where my camera is, it's on top of my computer, right, which is open to the whole visualization of the room, and I've left like cuffs and collars on top of there, and had like conversations with like normal people who don't know that shit, and then I peer out of the corner of my eye and I'm like, uh huh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I can do that. Yeah, that's great. It's awesome. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, Lord. And I'm like, I know they saw it. I know they saw it. They saw the fucking thing. And they're like in their little heads putting fucking things together. And that's your own fucking fault. Like, but if somebody like was here working on some shit and they quick snapped a picture and I saw it somewhere and I'm like, you know what? You can't tell that's me. That's the first thing so that, that goes mad? Is, is like, that mad? Is that mad? Is that? No, no, no. Like if I'm like. Oh, no, you can't tell that that's mine. I know that that's mine. He knows yep. that that person knows that that's mine. But I'm like, you can't tell that that's mine. And I shouldn't have fucking left it there because I'm embarrassed that I left it there and anyone saw it. But, so there's like, a there's yeah, there's no there's no identifying information here. So so for him, it was it was very much. This is just a random bathroom. And the only reason that that it came back to him was that the lady actually saw it and recognized her own bathroom and then brought it up and was like, well, the only person that was in my house is a plumber. And then contacted the company. Yeah. I mean, people are going to take that differently. You know what I mean? Like, some people just automatically go into huff and puff about dumb shit. Like, like okay, yeah, it's, it's your personal domicile. But at the same time, bro, take a collection of your shit around you. Like, just take a quick... You That's on you. Take a quick moment. Be like, all right, yo, there's people coming to the motherfucking house cool cool oh shit nope gotta take that cover that up put that away now we cool (laughs) people can be in this domicile uh does that apply for computers because now i'm having a personal conundrum where i've i think i've told the story before but there were there was one gentleman that came into my my work when i had my own company and uh he came into the front uh we have a little front office and a little back office a little door between the two of them and he came into the front office and he was like, yeah, I got this computer. It's got a, uh, I think I'm pretty confident it has a virus. Uh, it's infected from shit I did on the internet, you know, and I'm like, cool, man, no worries. We take care of that. It's a normal, common thing. And uh, I'll get it back to you in a day or two. Uh, let me call you, blah, blah, blah. Check him in. And he's very jovial, very all open and talkative and, and fun. And, and I'm like, cool, that guy was really nice, man. And so I go to take his computer to the back. A couple hours pass by. I do some other computers and I go to take his out. I go to put it up. I'm like, all right, cool, virus, blah, blah, blah. I open it up. And, uh, yeah, sure enough, it's infected. But the first thing I usually want to see is just how infected. So I know that I'm fixing the right fixes. Uh, so I boot it up to his normal account. I turn it on. I go into it. And uh, it is the, the background of his desktop. The desktop wallpaper is him in, like, a massive orgy. And he's everyone's in leather. And there's dicks out everywhere. And... There was whips and shit, and I'm like, again, none of this stuff is, like, crazy surprising to me or anything. It's just, like, did not expect to see it. Just and, Stuff and I, like that in in the time where I did 
like personal repairs where like shit like that people drop computers off and and you work on them and shit like that i i it never left the store but i'd be like yo come look at this <laughs> like <laughs> You know, come see what I had to see. Like, yeah. come over here and see what I had to see, because this is some shit. Like, but just like at this like, point, at this point, I have this awkward moment of like, well, so do I bring it up to him? Like, do I make a joke about it? Because because uh, he when he eventually did come to pick it up, because I fixed the whole computer, cleaned everything up, and I gave it back to him. And then he comes to go pick it up, and he's like, "Hey, how's it going?" And they got my computer. I'm like, "Yeah, it's here." And I'm waiting for him to be like, "Hey, yeah, just uh, you might have seen Dick. Uh, might be." Like I got nothing. I'm like at, at some point I'm I'm staring this adult man in the face and I'm like I have seen all of your penis, like all of it, and everything it can do. And I don't there, want I don't want that. There was a there was one this young lady who I think I I, I don't want like she had a lot of just pictures of herself on her computer, you know, like just a lot on her laptop, and kind of one of the things where. And, and I'm sure you've had these situations, right? Because like you said, you, you, your your situation was the same as mine, where there's like a, a storefront and then the workshop in the back, um, which is like an office and shit like that. Um, so, so a lot of times what I would do um, is I just had a monitor like on the on the desk in the front, like like storefront. So people would bring shit in and like, oh, the screen doesn't work. All right, let me plug the monitor in, boot it up, see how much it's going to cost you. You know what I mean? Or see if it's something I could just tell you, do this and you'll fix it yourself. Um, So she brings her laptop in and she's like, oh, I think there's something wrong with the screen. So I kind of go through the initial like, okay, there's no like physical defects. Like, you know, um, does it power on? Okay, it's powered. All right, like maybe maybe it's some weird shit, right? So I'm doing this, and she's just like she's just sitting there, cool, cool, cool. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna plug a monitor into this and just see. She's like, yeah, whatever, I don't give a fuck. Like, so I, I do that, and then like the background is just her with her tits out, like, and I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, and and it's the initial like it's the initial like, uh, and I'm just like. All right, let me see if I can go on the settings here. <laughs> see if I switch it to like extended display. Does that come back on? No. Uh, maybe. And I'm like, I'm, I'm, I, at that point, I'm just on autopilot. I'm like, ribbon, a ribbon could have came loose in, um, <laughs> in the laptop that's, you know, because the, the display is ribbon based. Uh, so yeah, um, like, maybe if I drag something from one screen, you know, sometimes that'll, that'll help. That's not helping. Yeah. So I'm gonna turn this off cause uh, there's a giant window over there. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if maybe the ribbon came loose and she's like, all right, cool. Like, so how much is that? I'm like, yeah, this, you know, this, she's like, all right, cool. I pay you now. I'm like, yeah, yeah, here's a receipt. Um, you can, pick it up in a couple days like all right yeah. <laughs> and then like <laughs> i did the thing where like i probably could have started on it then but like i wanted to wait for someone else to come so i put a note on it and put it in like my co-worker's face <laughs> and then like he opened it up and and like turned it on and just opened the door from the like workspace and was like do you see this shit i was like yeah no yeah i looked at it with her <laughs> and he's like all right. Okay. Cool. Well, all right. Fuck. <laughs> so that that literally that exact scenario happened directly to me. Uh, but so with with Fry's Electronics, uh, the the customers in a long line to the counter, and the counter is you just you just look at everyone's eyes. And so the worst thing is when you're when you're trying to do other work, you're not you're not assigned to the counter. The boss is not put you on the counter. But you can't look into the eyes of anybody in the line because they're going to look at you like, why aren't you fucking helping me? Uh, but yeah. so they'd be on that counter line. If you're, if you're in that, the, 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 the line, first of all, you're mad because you're at Fry's and you're in a line. You've got a computer that you bought from Fry's that is now broken and you're even more mad. And now it's been an hour and you've been still in that line and you've got nothing to do but look at the person who is now being taken care of in the line. 
There's no like aisle of gum to look at. There's no magazine aisle to look at. You, everyone is focused on that client and the whole conversation. So I had a lady uh, at my at my at my desk, and and sure enough, we you know I'm like let me let me hook up to the monitor, and I turn the monitor around so that everyone can see it because she can see it. So we're doing it, and it, sure enough, things come up, and yeah, it's just fucking just there. It was a background that was just like it was just her getting plowed, <laughs> and uh, she was like. And I go to like hide it, like just as a, as a common decency. And she's just like, "Oh yeah, no, that's my, that's that's me. Yeah, that's yeah, that's no, that's cool. Like I don't give a shit." She's like, "Yeah, hey, y'all saw that? That was me. That was that was, <laughs> that was me in my in my new video." And I'm like, "All right, all right, cool. What do you want me to do <laughs> with your machine?" <laughs> but I've had I've had I've had like the, the confident like so so I I not related to the porn or anything, but I've had the 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 person that's like, "Hey." I bought this computer a couple weeks ago. It's still brand new. Pretty confident you can't help me under warranty, but just in case you can, can you try? Uh, and I, I, I'm trying to take it from her, and she's like, before I let you take it, I just want you to know. <laughs> she's like, my cat pissed all over it. It is fucking <laughs> covered in cat piss. And she's like, I am so sorry, but I don't know what else to do. And I'm like, thank you for telling me. Because there's been times where I've been deep into a computer and been like, Motherfucking cat piss everywhere? Is this cat piss? Am, is this some kind of no. bison piss? Like, what is this? Literally, uh, uh, in that in that same store, this dude like brought a computer in, and I I could have swore he was fucking high, but he like he was just like, I don't fucking know, man. I bought it. It don't fucking work. Like shit, crazy. Had it for like a month. Whatever, man. Fuck this shit, man. Like it don't. Fu-. I'm like, all right. Cool, cool. What do you want? He's like, yo, just figure out fuck fit. I don't know what the fuck wrong with it. Just fuck, yo, fix it and shit. And I'm just like in the storefront. So like my my the, the dude that worked with me is in the back fixing shit. So I was like, all right, cool. Typed his shit up, gave him his thing, put the tag on it, put it in the back in like the row. And then I just hear him like an hour later, I guess, when he got to it. He's just like, oh, oh. <laughs> Fuck, bro. And, I'm like, <laughs> and I open the door and he's just like, he's like, yo, I don't know what animal human creature fucking just <laughs> deposited into this thing, but it just like send it back. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, oh, you gotta shit. say no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I didn't smell it. He's like, no. He's like, I didn't smell it till I opened this shit. He's like, I took that side off and ooh, no. <laughs> I was like, uh, all right. I was like, fuck. That's the worst. Don't pee in your computers, people. Yeah. They're gross. All right. Well, that's in the end of the news stories. Let's move on in the. To, we're we're running on the time here. We're gonna go and hit the new. What was the What was the thing I do at this point? Trivia shit. Trivia. Uh, it's game bum, time. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, oh yay! It's game time. Hell yeah! With Curly. That's what I'm talking about. Only on DKG Well. Oh all right, so same same, same thing, uh, a little bit different, though. This is not necessarily all number-based trivia, but this is just shit for you to guess, Kaz. Uh, chat, you can feel free to guess along with Kaz. Uh, these are just, yeah, these are just fun, fun fucking facts uh, that I thought you'd uh, enjoy either learning uh, or at least trying to guess at. So, um, is, it, is, it, uh, is one of them the team, the NBA team with uh, the highest salary cap that won't win? Is it the Lakers? How, how, Oh, oh! Is that is that is that LeBron's new team? Is that yeah? That's LeBron's new team, and they have a bunch of motherfuckers that they owe a bunch of fucking money to. Uh, and, I hope uh, I hope it pays off, <laughs> or someone's, someone's <laughs> getting cut next year. Uh, let's put some of those uh, money into the Chargers. Uh, according to a uh, place I didn't check the source from, uh, how long do you think it takes the average person to fall asleep from attempts to asleepness? So I can throw out my personal experiences and I guarantee it's nowhere near this average. 8 to 12 minutes. To fall asleep? You you tell me you lay in this bed in 8 minutes you'd be fucking possibly asleep? I, I'm talking about the average person, not me, like... 
We're all we're all we're all from a hard anxiety driven fucking group of people on the internet. Like, <laughs> yeah. Is that when That's I put my? I put, is that I, when I, I? I went to Middle America, dude. Like I went to a fucking middle. Like, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to think. Is it? Is it? Is it between when I when I decide to go to sleep and then I pick up my phone, or when I pick up my phone and put my phone down, or when my phone gets yeah. put down? Like, uh, my, half the time, my phone is still in my hand. I'm still scrolling through Instagram when I wake up, and I'm like. When did I go to sleep? When did I? I don't even remember. I'm still scrolling. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I'm still in this action. It's now three in the morning, and I'm. I've looked at this Facebook feed three times. Nothing's been posted. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, Gabby, Gabby has got it dead on. Uh, uh, according to a study, the uh, average person falls asleep in seven minutes. Ooh, I said six to six to something. It's insane to me. I thought that was insane. Yeah. Um, no, like when for for the average average ass American, these people that don't have fucking life problems or any fucking thing to worry about, like they're worried about if the fucking anyone's ever going to talk to them ever again, or they're ever going to find love, or if they ever fucking have to worry about paying for houses, or they're going to be fired. Meet like those are normal things you have to deal with every night, right? Like they deal with that shit in 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 awake times, and then they're like, "All right, it's bedtime." It's, All right. Mm. They're done. They're not sitting there like, bro. This they're not sitting there in the heat trying to make sure every flap of their fat doesn't touch another flap of their fat. (laughs) Yeah, it's the worst out here. (laughs) All right, Uh, you catch catch me on a good on a good good day. Like I hit the bed and I'm out. Like there's some good days where I'm. But that's alcohol for me. That's why I I have an addiction issue with the alcohol. Is that like my worst thing that I hate? Every time I've ever done, and and people here that have known that I've done the Lent stuff for like 50 days of not drinking and all that shit. When I do those, my my first biggest problem is, fuck, I can't sleep. Like drinking (laughs) is like I'll fucking I'll I'll have a good drink. I'll have a good night. I'll be playing rocket league, and I'm like, hey everybody, I'm about to go to sleep. Bye, and I'm gone. I'm before I hit the fucking bed. I'm like, (sighs) out. Uh, but I, if I don't drink, I'm like, I'm like, hey, so uh, I guess we could play video games. I guess I could stay on my phone. I guess I could rewrite the Constitution. I guess I could just fucking like take. I, I could do it. Like, like literally a couple nights ago, I was just laying in my bed, looking at Instagram, watching shit on Netflix, and I was like, fuck, I need to go to sleep. And it was already like two, and I went and I got in my bed at like twelve, and I'm like, fuck, I've just been laying here for two well, two hours. So I got up. Played Counter Strike. Was like, all right, woo, felt good. Went in my bed, fell right to sleep. <laughs> I was like, need, just need that nightcap. There you go. A little Counter Strike. All right, uh, on a percent scale, uh, how much plant life out of the one hundred percent on the planet uh-huh. uh, is uh-huh. found in the ocean? Like, this is trees. This is fucking. Uh, corn, <laughs> every every organic plant material. How much of that, on the total scale of the the planet, is underwater in the ocean? Got some strong sixties coming from the chat. Seventy. I'm going with a seventy. Okay. The answer is eighty five percent of all plant life is underwater. Ooh. Right. It's fucking vegan. I, I, I felt world. it was high. No, I felt it was high. Like I knew it was high. But then I was just thinking about like places that just like legitimately are nothing but plants. Like on, like on fucking Atlanta, surface. Georgia is just all trees and shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking days. Uh, what are what are Kaz, what are the three most common spoken languages in the world? English, Chinese. Spanish, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that one. English, this, Chinese, and Spanish. This motherfucker, straight up English, Spanish, and Chinese. Look at you, you got one, dude. Dead on the screws. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm impressed. I'm I'm feeling it. All right, cool. Uh again, out of a percentage percentage scale, how much of their lives do you Cats spend asleep. Percent? Mm-hmm. Uh, 89%. No, I feel like it's a... 
Eighty-five percent. Sixty-six percent. Bullshit. Mm. Bullshit. Look at this. No, oh, he moved. Fuck. He's been moving the whole time. <laughs> My cat's asleep. That's for sure. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, that's in, that's pretty. That's pretty impressive. Um, <clears throat> what is uh, according to uh, a study? What is the number one thing that couples argue about? Ooh. Ooh. World worldwide. Ooh, I, hold on! I'm gonna let chat get a couple answers in first, but I, I'm gonna, I'm straight going money. It's straight. I, thought money. I was gonna say, did Jen, did Jen just try to say Moesha? <laughs> <laughs> Moesha, yeah, that, that's a good look at Moesha, bro. Moesha. That's what I argue about. I'm like, yo, have you not seen the fucking first season? Like, Moesha come on, was bro. Shit. Better than fucking Fresh Prince. Not better than Fresh Prince. <laughs> not better than Fresh Prince. Uh, it definitely was money. You guys all got it. Money's 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 hard. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Uh, the fuck you mean you spent forty seven dollars on fucking pops? The conversation, like I, and, and again, I don't necessarily really, really believe this, but man, it is sometimes hard listening to married people, dude. Like, I got, I got a bunch of uh, guys that I work with, or guys that I play D and D with, and that that all have like marriages and these like long term fucking kids and wife and all that shit, and listening to like. Listen to fucking yay. Like we'd be after work, after work on a Thursday, three o'clock in the afternoon at a bar. Phone call rings. Hey, ask my wife one second, one second, guys, one second. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I charge that. Yeah, no, we're just having after drink work with the uh, with the guys. Yeah, I know the beer. The beers were sixteen bucks. It's yeah. Well, I needed to fucking decompress after work today, honey. What the fuck? I, you you bought a shirt the other day. It was fucking forty nine dollars. Yeah, no, I bought a beer, a b and onion wing. Yes, and onion wings. Yeah, I fucking had a good time. Okay, I'm trying to. Ha can I? Yeah, I'll be home in five minutes. Fuck, sorry. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, <laughs> some of that shit. Yeah. Like, no, I've just I've, I've seen those conversations of like, yeah, yeah. What do you? <laughs> What? No, I'm not. I'm not yelling. I'm asking you a question. Is what I'm trying to do because I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. What do you mean you? Sp what is? <sighs> no. If you let me finish, it wouldn't sound like I'm yelling. I'm. I, it sounds like that because I. Can we? Can we just talk about the thing that you? Okay. Yeah. No. What do you mean? Tim doesn't fucking need that. Yes, I love my. So all right, no, now you're being fucking, now you're being fucking crazy. No, you're being fucking crazy. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not going to, Karen, I'm not going to fucking talk. Karen, Karen. I, first of all, Karen. Oh, I love <laughs> Cass, please marry someone named Karen. Thing. No, fuck that. I'm not <laughs> arguing about Oh, that please fucking... marry someone named Karen. Please marry someone and then change their name to Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Just, fucking... Oh, work that one out. In the, uh, no, Karen. Karen is the name of a fucking woman. You're, you're just. Come on. What do you mean a special school? Oh, like fuck. I, no, I thought you meant the kid was retarded. Like no, we're not putting him in the Montessori school, Karen. <laughs> Karen, I know, I know you came from a Montessori school and your parents went to Montessori's. We're not going to put him in the Montessori school because I don't want him to look like a fucking idiot. That's why. <laughs> How much a year is it? Fuck that. No, he can go to public school. I went to. Uh, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to. Okay. Uh huh. That's more than the house, Karen. That's more than the fucking house, Karen. Where are we going to get that money? What, from you selling fucking knitted socks? Yeah. No, we're not. No, I'm not making fun of your knitted sock. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> your, uh, your, your jewelry Etsy isn't working out, Karen. It's not enough to cover it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> This has been Masterpiece Theater by Kaz and Curly. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, what is the thing that m the majority of people are allergic to than any other food? Peanuts. This can be drinks, food. Uh... Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. That's a good one, Jen. That's a good one. 
that second one, not the first one, because I said the first one, and now that you said that second one, I think my first one is wrong, but I got to stick with my gun. <laughs> Trees nuts. <laughs> uh, no, it's definitely milk. Uh, cow's yeah. milk specifically, obviously. Because yeah. uh, you shouldn't be right. drinking... As as I saw that, I you shouldn't be drinking the mammary gland fucking excretions from fucking uh, uh, beasts of burden, you fucking idiot Americans, because <laughs> fucking Kellogg's told you to. Uh, also, stop eating cereal. It's fucking for dummies. Uh, All right, now you, you've gone too far. I've got yeah. an agenda that I can have to. I'm gonna have to push at some point. Because they they use milk in fucking boba, and uh, I'm just gonna let you know right now. I love boba. So in in the the manufacture of boba, or in the manufacture of what you put your boba in? Yeah, you have your milk teas and shit, but I can yeah. still get my coconut blend fucking slush. Okay. <laughs> And my my yeah, side of calamari one. rings. He is the classic, bro. Nah, All that, that. It's like it's like it's the pizza discussion. Like once you start ooh, fucking putting like fucking other shit on it, it's no longer pizza. Milk is gross. The viscosity, the 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 chemical makeup, the 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 the, the, the source is gross. But like, it's one of those things. Once you mix it down enough, I'm cool with it. You put enough shit in it. You put enough sugar and cream. And you could just use water and some kind of emulsifier. You don't need to have cow juice, jizz, milk, dust put in your fucking food. It's gross. It's disgusting. It's horrible. <laughs> what about okay, What about like an almond milk or like a That's fucking fine. That's emulsifiers sword. and nut fucking juice. Whatever. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Reproductive fucking squeeze teat juice. It's fucking disgusting. <laughs> it's gross. It, the the process of getting it is gross. The existence of it is gross. Why are you drinking it? Oh, because fucking you know American advertising told you to in the fucking forties. So here we are. Everyone fucking. Oh, let me just get the milk off my face. I got a milk mustache. It's disgusting. You're disgusting. Yeah, milk milk straight up. Just milk straight up is gross. But like, you put it in a latte or a boba. I'm down. Okay. <laughs> We're on opposite ends. Of this. I mean, I, I got you on certain parts, but but on the rest of it, uh, I love me a milk tea, bro. This one, this wasn't even. This isn't even a trivia question. Uh, this just blew my mind for a hot moment, and I I didn't actually try to verify it, and my mind's kind of hurting over the the course of it. Um, <laughs> according to the trivia website that I was stealing all these trivia bits from, yeah, your foot. And your forearm are the exact same length. So like wrist to fucking elbow is the exact same length as your foot. And that's just a human thing. I was trying to look down at my feet. And it was fucking me up. It was fucking me up, right? (laughs) Yeah. Like here to here. Yeah, your fucking foot. It's weird, right? Like, it just weirded me out. And I'm like, that can't, that can't be, like, that's gotta be, like, an average. And then it was like, no, it's like a universal human trait. Da Vinci discovered this shit. Like, that whole, like, the, the whole, like, man standing in the circle with the whole fucking measurements, that was, like, all measurements. And foot forearm is a thing. <laughs> Gabby, I'm fat as fuck. I can't put my fucking foot on my forearm. Are you kidding me? I'd fall over and die. <laughs> I was getting shredded too. There's, there's too many wires at my feet right now. <laughs> uh, it, weird, right? Is that not weird? Oh, this fucking blue. I was. I honestly lost 20 minutes of production time because I was trying to fucking look up foot forearm, <laughs> and apparently it's a fucking thing. How is that just a universal genetic fucking thing? Like, how do we maintain that? And like, and, and there's got to be like genetic manipulation issues where like someone is oh my god look at that guy he's his foot and his forearm are the same distance it's gotta be like (laughs) breganant (laughs) it blew me out of the fucking water i just had to stop like Uh, i can't right now bro i don't i I can't go on (laughs) like I, I haven't seen Pretty Woman since I was like a baby, so I have no idea. But holy shit, yeah, no, that's that's that. 
Sorry to save that one for last. <laughs> oh. Holy crap. Actually, I didn't. I didn't. There's one more. There's one more. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, to break your mind from the foot forearm discussion, <laughs> which is going to be on forever now. I. Uh, um. Oh, I have a, uh, I have two of these. I uh, This is sort of a two-parter, Kaz. This is a two-parter. One, we're just going to talk about New Zealand right now, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, New Zealand. Got a picture of it in your mind? No, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to save you from the ratio portion of this, but I need, you, I need two answers from you. Okay. How many people are there? And how many sheep are there? Oh, fuck. Uh, New, New Zealand is like sheep country, you know, rolling grasses. Know, yeah. Shit. There's definitely more sheep than people. Um, you start there, it's a good, it's a good assumption. <laughs> I'm in all of New Zealand. I'm going to yeah. say like... So how many people are there? I don't know how many people are in your, uh, your state. Uh, uh, 100K? Like a hundred thousand, maybe. That feels high. That feels high. I'm gonna go with like. I don't, see, I feel like it's not in the million. I don't feel like there's millions of people in fucking New Zealand. I feel like it's in the thousands, like in the hundred. I don't. Oh. All right. Let's say. I, all right. I'm going to just baseline it. Her, uh, a million people. 100 million people, you say? How many sheep? 30 million. <laughs> okay. I mean, so no, the, ori the original, the original yeah. question wasn't a ratio, but I, I just broke it down so it would be easier. So, yeah. yes. How many people, how many, how many sheep? So you got, you got 1 million people and then 30 million sheep. Yeah. Uh, so... New Zealand is actually populated by 4 million people. Oh, shit, I was way off. Where do you want to put the sheep at at this point? 4 million? 4 million people. I'm going to say it. <laughs> there, are, there are registered 70 million sheep. Jesus Christ. I mean, I think I think Jen was a little correct on her. I, I started I started realizing the the ratio one to fit one to, the fifteen to one ratio seems a little close. Yeah. Actually, I think that's pretty. Uh, it's like sixty, right? Yeah, it's like sixty million. But yeah, close enough. I mean, really, four point seven as of Tuesday. Yeah, so this is probably around that same time. Uh, Chimera with that wiki article. Uh, and then uh, your final one is uh, another two parter question for this is this you're, you're going to give me a percentile for men and a percentile for women uh according to an article that went that came out sometime between now and 2016 i uh, uh men and women uh that don't wash their hands after using a public toilet Ooh. <laughs> um You gonna go with men first or women first? What do you think? Percentile men first, sixty-five. Women seventy-two. Oh, you see, yeah, women is high. Yeah, bitches is nasty. Interesting, interesting. Okay, uh, so the numbers that I've got here are forty-two percent of men and twenty-five percent of women. It's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all throwing women under the bus on this one, dude. Like, no, actually, oh, Gabby, Gabby, and Open by are fine with that. Yeah, forty percent women. Oh no, everyone's 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 opposite of Kaz. Yeah, uh, opposite. I mean, I, I don't know how they they took the the the, the, the quiz. Beep, 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 beep. Time for some cocktail. And <laughs> Didn't happen. May have accidentally slid across my uh, my deck there. Might be. Uh, <laughs> On that note, uh, we're we're done with the game section. You, Kaz, you you've gotten yeah. you got a surprisingly large amount of these, very close, if not on the damn screws, and I'm impressed. So well done, yeah, sir. Last one threw me off. 
Yeah, I had well, to, I, we got that on. I forgot which one that was. I put this together because we were originally we were originally trying to shoot for a a, um, a guest this week, so I had prepared a game section that involved another person. And so when like yeah, yeah. when when today came up and it was, I think I woke up today like really out of my own like heat stupor. Finally, around like three o'clock in the afternoon, I was like, "Fuck, I got to rewrite the show to be able to be <laughs> like just two people." Um, <clears throat> but that being said, uh, that's the end of our game section. We're gonna go ahead and move on into emails at this point, uh, answering any questions and comments and clements that you might have. So, boop, 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 boop. Time for some cocktail infused communications. DKG Well, email now. All right, it looks like I have a dispute with my bank going on, uh, according to this. <laughs> um, <no. laughs> uh, we do have, we do have, oh, 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 darn. I was hoping it was an actual email, but it was from, uh, it's from Wacky. It's just a, it's an audio file for uh, uh, chat notification sounds because he's gotten he's now a one year subscriber to the channel, and so yeah, he let's, let's tell the people what it sounds like. Yeah. So he uh, uh, for those that don't know, anyone that's been a one year supporter uh, of the channel either through Twitch subs or through an equivalent of Patreon, uh, depending on how how you want to put your money at, or even yeah, you you know who you are. You get the people that have donated and and supported the channel monetarily i would like to give rewards to you so uh either a year long of twitch subscription or a year's worth of that in patreon or just even tipping the channel a whole bunch you totally earned your place you know if you've earned your place so hit me up on email and uh we'll give you an audio file that you can play whenever you want and uh like it'll be part of the channel Nance? just like gabby just did <laughs> so uh fucking sun bun you fuck off right now <laughs> so something like that <laughs> Uh, that one takes a bit. Um, and so this one is from uh, Wackett. This is his audio file that he wants to be played. We're going to just play it right now. Cool. And so that will play whenever Wackett uh, uh, triggers his thing. Um, I think that's super adorable. Uh, so thank you guys for doing that. Otherwise, other than that, we have uh, no no other emails because that's just just silly for people. We ain't to out email. there enough. We ain't out there enough. We got to start. Hipping and hollering. I, I, I interact with enough people throughout the week. I, just, I think just the emails is really just the issue. It's like the concept that like no one spins up their email client unless you're like working with email. Like no one does that. Like I think we got we got to definitely switch it over to be like fucking hit me up uh, on the old uh, the old Twitter feed or DMs. something. Hit me in the DMs. Uh, come here. I don't have anything that I I have no way to find unless you specifically. Chimera. You did know. Oh, uh, Chimera emailed last last week or the other week about. Uh, I remember this actually. He wanted to. He emailed it right at the end of the show, but we we had a discussion where we were trying to find. Uh, if I have any knowledge of geography in the world and where things are. And uh, it just happened to be that at the same time, Crew Two came out. The the Crew Two, the video game. Yeah. And the the the, the game touts like, oh, you can drive from coast to coast in America in our game. And obviously, it's truncated, but you can drive the entire. You're not gonna have a 15 day fucking drive, but you can do it. And uh, he sent us. He was like, let's let's play let's play geography with Curly, but with uh, the Crew map, uh, which is which is this where it puts Las Vegas. A little heavily inward. <laughs> like, I don't know if that this is supposed to be the Mississippi River. Um, seems a little far, for my opinions. But yeah, yeah, they, they, that, they, the they took some leeway with the old. Um, they definitely did. <laughs> really, look, that's about there. Look, this game. Oh, I think we worked on. <laughs> yeah, this would this would be my description of the uh, the American map. Like, I don't know, Vegas yeah. is somewhere inside. There's, like, a New Mexico here somewhere. I don't see Oklahoma anymore. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> bonus Michigan. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's like, uh, what did we decide where Chicago was? It's over here, apparently. Chicago's over here. Detroit is up here in the, in the, in the hand, in the fist. One of these is, uh, what? Uh, like, what is this? This is, like, what is this thing? Is it? Is 
Is it New Jersey somewhere up here? Like, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it sh- that's way too far. That should be like a main up there, bro. I, mean, Florida I don't looks know like what that it. other body of water is. Like, there, there's this. So that weird break off is where like New York should be, and then that other water body of water should be like facing the other way, and what? that should be like m- where I live. What's what's Wait. over here taking a flex? Like, what's flexing right here? <laughs> <laughs> that jersey? It's just like, yo, you want to go, bro? <laughs> like, look at these guns, dog. Like, is 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 this much of Florida like swampland? Is that is that most of Florida is like swampland? Like, what is is, is, is this Hawaii? So is Hawaii over here? <laughs> like, what is? Oh, it's good times. Some weird shit, bro. Uh, yeah, Los Angeles is apparently where where San Francisco is <laughs> instead of down here. It's good times. Uh, I love it. Um, anyways, uh, that was that was our emails. Uh, on that point, we're done with the show. Oh, we've made it to the end of a show. End of the cast. End of the pulled keys. Thank you guys for being here for this long. This has been a fantastic episode. Uh, I, um. I just got distracted by Kaz's cat again. I'm sorry. I got really excited. He just showed up. <laughs> Came out of nowhere. <laughs> I was like, oh, little poof. I uh, love you. Um, anyways, yeah, yeah. Uh, we had a great time. So, Kaz, if you want to extra RSS out. Thank you for listening to the show. Join us again next week. Uh, we'll definitely put some information out because we're going to try to start having guests on again. So we'll let you know who's going to be on when they're going to be on, if they're going to be on. Um, other than that, like, subscribe, do all the things. Tell the friend about a show. Have them stop by the live edition. Tell them about the after edition. Do whatever you got to do. Get us some more listeners. We need them. Um, other than that, join us throughout the week playing some good fun games uh sincerely the final thing i'll say is uh itunes man if you can do the 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 review on whatever podcatcher you can uh please it means the world to us it makes it makes the show uh show up on all of the feeds a lot more uh just a simple review so if you have the opportunity or have the ability uh it it takes nothing just beep boop beep boop but have a great night i'll see you guys uh for the rest of the week in uh in the normal streams Boop, boop,